Well, a memorial to the September 11th terror attacks at Southern Methodist University in Dallas will remain on the campus main lawn this year after some intense criticism when the school decided to move it to a less prominent location. SMU originally planned to move the memorial to shield students from, quote, harmful or triggering messages. But a number of student organizations fought back, including our next two guests, Drew Wicker, president of the SMU College Republicans, and Julia Cantu, president of the SMU Feminist Equality Movement. Uh, Drew and uh, Julia, thanks for joining us. Most of our viewers will look at this and say, wait, we've got the College Republicans sitting with the, uh, the, feminist, organ the feminist Equality Movement, which feminism can be on both the right and left, but traditionally uh, found uh, on, the, on the left as a political movement. What brought you, to, first of all, I'll go to you, Drew. Uh, what happened here? Uh, lay out what happened and why you initially responded. So what initially happened was I also serve as the co-founder and vice president of the Young Americans for Freedom at SMU, and we do an annual 9-11 memorial on Dallas Hall, which serves as the heart and foundation and symbol of our campus. And so whenever we requested to have our demonstration there, with, like we do every single year, we received a response back from the SMU administration that we were not allowed to have that memorial and that it would be moved to Momac Park. And the reason that we were given was because that those demonstrations could be found to be triggering, harmful, or harassing to other students. And so the reason we actually got involved together is we decided as a group of conservative organizations that we wanted to take action. And we decided this is a great time to work on something that we can all get on board together. Sure. And so I reached out to several liberal organizations and they all decided to join forces with us because at the end of the day, free speech is something that we can all get around and it's a common shared value of this entire American culture. Julia, um, so Drew sent you a text. I looked at what you, what you sent us and said, hey, would you consider this? And, and you did. Uh, was there any hesitation and uh, have you gotten any pushback from, frankly, reaching across the aisle, if, uh, to say it proverbially, and working on this? Right. Well, me and Drew had worked together last semester, and we kind of built up a foundation of respect between college Republicans and FEM. Um, and it's something that I had to consider uh, signing on to the letter to send to admin was um, thinking about women's well-being on campus and considering um, the university's intention behind the policy uh, and weighing that with free speech. Um, and overall, I think I decided that human rights um, involves uh, women's rights and freedom of speech is a human right, um, as well as the fact that these conversations that take place as a result of the displays on campus are extremely important and um, they bring a lot of these women's issues in and out of the classroom. So Drew, if you would, uh, why would a 9-11 memorial with American flags be triggering? You know, I don't, I, I couldn't fathom an answer to that. I mean, to me personally, it's a symbol of freedom. It's a symbol of pride. And I know that we've had some students that have claimed or, uh, well, anonymously, that they were offended by the memorial, but I, I couldn't tell you that, sir. Sure. Uh, Julia, I, won't, I, I don't know who you voted for in the election, but a lot of people will look at this and say, if conservatives and if Republicans and Democrats, left and right, can work together on something like this, can't they get something, uh, couldn't they work together on something big, maybe in Washington, D.C.? This, could this be a lesson for folks on the left who are resisting this president at any turn to say, hey, let's find a couple of places where we can work together, where we have common ground? Well, exactly. I think it's so important to really in the ways that we've worked with each other, sitting down and having a genuine interest in trying to understand the other person's point of view, I would say that it's um, been extremely advantageous to the both of our organizations to um, figure out that we do have some common ground and that's going to help us in the future. Wow, good stuff. Drew Wicker and Julia Conta. This is true tolerance is tolerating differences of opinion uh, and diversity also includes diversity of thought. You are both a demonstration of that this morning. Thank you for stepping up. We appreciate it.